Good evening. Shalom, Mishpaka. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to continue on with um, our end time series, Revelation 6. Okay, here we go. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying, like a sound of thunder, come and see. And I looked and saw a white horse, the conqueror, and he who sat on it holding a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out overcoming and to overcome. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. And another horse, fiery red, war, went out. And it was given to the one who sat on it to take peace from the arets or the earth, and that they should slay one another. And a great sword was given to him. And when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. And I looked and saw a black horse, famine, and he who sat on it holding a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a yom's wage, or a day's wage. And do not harm the oil and the wine. And when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. And I looked and saw a green, or a pale horse, Chloros, death. And he who sat on it had the name death. And the grave followed with him, and authority was given to them over a fourth of the arets, or the earth, to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and by the beasts of the earth, or the arets. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the beings of those who had been slain for the word of Yahuwah and for the witness which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, how long, Master, Kodesh and True, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth or the arets? And there was given to each one a white robe, and they were told that they should rest a little while longer, until both their fellow servants and their brothers, who would be killed as they were, was completed. And I looked when he opened the sixth seal and saw a great earthquake came to be. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of the heaven, or the Shamayim, fell to the arets, the earth, as a fig tree drops its unripe figs, being shaken by a strong wind. And heaven departed like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the sovereigns of the arets or the earth, and the great ones, and the rich ones, and the commanders, and the mighty, and every slave, and every free one, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains. And said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him, sitting on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, because the great yom, or great day, of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Bless you all in the name of Yahuwah, and all praises to the Most High. Like, subscribe, share, so that the word gets out to everyone. And I hope everyone has a blessed evening. I love you all, Mishpaka.